Hi, I'm David with Portrait Displays. In this video, we'll review the new additivity feature added to the SDR and HDR toolkits in CalMAN 5.15.6. Now you may be asking, but Dave, what is additivity? Well, I'm glad you asked. Additivity refers to when the energy output of the primary color components, when measured individually, sum together to equal the same energy output of color combinations. Don't overthink it, I didn't get it first either. Let's simplify it. What we're looking for is the measured red, the measured green, and the measured blue equaling the measured white. This can also be applied to any other linear combinations, such as measured red plus measured green equaling measured yellow. When these color components sum together equal the total output of the color combination, we have additivity. When they do not, we refer to it as non-additive. Now there are many reasons a display may not be additive. It could be related to the physics of the technology, or perhaps the video pipeline. It's important to note that when a display is non-additive, it is less predictable and will require more data in order to accurately characterize and optimize. Let's get started. I'm going to go over and launch CalMAN. Today, I'm running CalMAN Studio, but additivity is part of the SDR and HDR toolkits in CalMAN Studio, CalMAN Video Pro, and CalMAN Ultimate. With CalMAN launched, let's now move over to CalMAN in the top left corner, click it, come down to Open Workflow Template, come over to Analysis, and we're going to go to the HDR Toolkit. Now again, it's important to note that this is part of the HDR Toolkit and the SDR Toolkit. Now that the HDR Toolkit's loaded, you'll see all of the analysis here on the main page. In the bottom right corner, you'll notice we have Additivity. Let's click on Additivity, and now we're on the Additivity Workflow page. Let's take a moment and walk through the various elements on the page. On the top, you'll notice the option to adjust the luminance ramp points. This allows us to select the number of points we wish to measure. Below that, we have the additivity chart type. Here, we can select between the primaries, cyan, magenta, or yellow. Below that, we have the additivity graph for visualization of additivity, with the target line being the brighter and the measured lines being the darker. The goal here on this chart is going to be to fully cover the brighter line. Lastly, we have the delta graph that visualizes the percent error versus the target. Ideally, we're going to want this to be zero. On the right side of the workflow page, we have the delta E chart for the color checker data and the CIE diagram for illustration. Okay, now that we have an idea of the additivity layout, let's get started. I'm going to come up to the source here and connect my pattern source. I'm going to hit Find Source. Today, I'm using the Portrait Displays G1 Pattern Generator. I'm going to choose the manufacturer's Portrait Displays, and I'm going to choose the G1 as the model. CalMAN has automatically found the G1 on the network. I'm going to select it and press Connect. Now, because I chose the HDR toolkit and I'd like to look at the additivity in HDR, I'm going to set up my pattern generator to use the window 10%, keep my delay at 1, color format and RGB. I'm going to change my output from 1920 by 1080 to 3840 by 2160. I'm going to leave my range in limited and I'm going to turn on HDR to HDR10. Next, we're going to want to connect to our measurement device. Today, we're using the Portrait Displays C6 HDR5000. Let's come back to CalMAN, select our Meters tab, press Find Meter, make sure all meters except those listed below are selected, and press Search. Our display today is the Sony A95L QD OLED. Because of that, I'm going to make sure my C6 HDR5000 is set up to the proper meter mode for the display. And here it is. Sony Quantum Dot OLED 2023. With my meter now connected to CalMAN and my generator now connected to CalMAN, I'm ready to start taking my measurements. Let's come down to the bottom right and let's hit Read Series. Okay, our additivity measurements have finished. Let's take a look at the results. Looking at our measured luminance chart here in the top left, we can see the bright white line is our target line. The slightly less bright line is our measured line. We can see where our blue, red, and green lines have lined up. We're not quite perfect here, as shown in the error chart on the bottom. 
Let's take a moment and look at our cyan. Here we have cyan with our bright line as the target line and the slightly darker line as the result. We're not too terribly off here, but again, not quite perfect, as illustrated by the percent error on the bottom. Let's now take a look from cyan and change this to magenta. Once again, we have the bright magenta line as the target and the slightly darker line as the measured result with our blue and red. Once again, we're not quite getting additivity here from the display. As we move down to yellow, we see a similar trend. We're not quite perfect with our additivity on the yellow and we can see where our errors are on the bottom. Now let's take a look at the color checker data on the right. We have our percent error chart and we have our CIE diagram. If you look at the CIE diagram, you'll notice the results are pretty good. The measurements are pretty close to the target boxes. But if we look at our percent error when we're thinking about this in additivity, you'll notice we're not quite as perfect as we'd like. And that also correlates to what you're seeing here on the left when we're making these measurements. What this tells us is our display is not quite additive. It might mean that we need a little bit more measurement when we're trying to create a correction table or a curve, or we might need to take a little bit of care when we're going through the calibration process to ensure that the results come out ideal. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.